Greetings guys, this is Thorcraft, and today we are having another episode of Subscriber Replays. Today we are watching Bob underscore 15, great name, in his Stug 3G, the tier 5 German tank destroyer. I have also driven this tank on my way towards the Jagdpanzer IV, and I have to say, this vehicle is absolutely amazing. The gun that this Stug gets is really powerful, it is really accurate. It is really fast aiming and it reloads pretty quickly. As he just put a good shot into the Y experiment and the KV1. This gun also gets a really good penetration for its tier 150mm, which is very competitive. Especially for tier 5. He's doing his best here, and in my opinion, he's doing some really good work here. He here placed himself in bushes here. Using his binoculars and camo net to get the best result and to try to not get spotted. This is a really good position in my opinion. A really good position. So let's see what he is going to do here. He's got a lot of enemies in his front here that I can shoot at. He's trying to make the best of his shots here. And his teammates are attacking with him as well on the front line. But as I said, this is a really smart move just because he almost cannot get spotted here he has multiple layers of bushes between him and the enemy and the enemy so it's almost impossible for the enemy to spot him especially now that he has a camo net and binoculars so this team is doing very well at the beginning it's 3-1 for the enemy Bob has picked up a kill already so that's good and no idea why the OI Experimental is driving back that way. No idea, but Bob put some good shots into him. This KV1 is peeking out all the time, so yeah. Let's just put a shot in, you know. <laughs> I have no idea what these guys are trying to achieve here. But now it looks like the enemy have all fallen back. And the <coughs> eastern flank has fallen. As you can see, there's a Churchill... Um, attacking their base and one of his allies has fallen in front there oh really good track tracking shot right there can he take this guy out yes he can good stuff well now that Churchill is still there I think he is going to make a move quickly because if he can allows this Churchill to get into this base that will spell his certain demise so he has to do something about it and there's a Stug here. Doesn't have a shot on him. But oh well. Oh, OI Experimental. That is a really powerful tank, the OI Experimental. But when you show your tank like that, not really. So, three kills for him. Oh, that shot just missed. Can he take him out with the second one? Yes, he can. Good stuff. Four kills and 1,471 damage. This is a great game already for a tier 5 tank. If he was to die now, this would be a very good result. One shot into the Churchill. Second shot. There we go. Five kills. Really good stuff. So, as we can see, he is on the web. Why on the map? White Park, a map that I don't get to drive that often. It seems like this map is favorable for tier 5 and 6 matchmaking. As we can see, as this is a tier 5 game, of course. He could... Yeah. This is just great. Anyway, he takes out the... Tier 3 Czechoslovakian... Uh, medium tank, I think it is. Or light tank, doesn't really matter though. Anyway, he's dead. He is 1... Of, yeah, not 1 versus 4. He's 3 versus 4, but it doesn't look like that his allies are going to help him out. They're staying back there in the corner. Oh, Valentine, really well armored light tank. He puts some shots back into Bob, but Bob doesn't care. Of course, he's going to have to take these hits, but the Valentine isn't going to do very well against a Stoke 3 g This thing has got some really good rate of fire capability, so that why that's why he was able to take out the Valentine so cleanly. And of course, he is trying to hide for the artillery. Not sure if the artillery at this tier are that competitive as well, but you can better not take the risk. So, as we can see, his allies are still hiding at the back of the map. 
no idea really because there's almost no way that they are going to lose this now anyway this is a bit of a dangerous engagement now because there's three tanks left on the enemy team and one of them is a martyr martyr of course is a really good gun and he is of course not going to drive in the open or is he well apparently he is but yeah it looks like the BDR and the Wolverine have got discovered, although the Wolverine is almost at the other side of the map as well. But the BDR put a good shot into the Martyr, but now the Martyr is very likely to run away. He activates his binoculars really shortly to see if there's any enemy tanks in the open here. That's enough. If then no enemies get spotted, that means that there are no enemies in the open, of course. So now he's going towards a place where it's very likely that the enemy artillery and the Panzer 3A are located. Panzer 3A was, I believe, my first tier 3 tank in the game. But oh god, there's the artillery. Oh, he puts a good shot into Bob, but it is not enough, and Bob takes him down. So, 2500 damage roughly, and 8 kills. How can this get even better? Very well played, Mr. Bob. Anyway, where is that Panzer 3A? He hasn't been spotted the whole game. But now Bob does something that I yeah, personally wouldn't have done. But it doesn't really matter though because the artillery spotted him already. So normally when you are in the enemy base it is very stupid to drive into the enemy cap circle. Because that gives away your position. But as he took down the artillery a few minutes ago that uh, gave away his position already. So it doesn't really matter though. But it's it's really important to take those things into my uh, in the yeah but there's the mother does he have a shot on him yes he does there we go nine kills but where is this Panzer 3a he has to be around somewhere no clue where he could be though so yeah this is just a case of trying to find out where he is driving all the way around because if he manages to take this kill it's a really important kill for Bob then he gets his 10th kill and he will get a very special medal of which is the pools medal a medal that I have never been able to get so far in my 12,000 games of the world of tanks so that's something that I would love to achieve someday ever if that's going to happen yeah, I, I got 10 kills actually once, but that was in a Panzer 1C, for you guys that have seen that on my channel. That is of course a really good result, but as it is a tier 3 game, yeah, a tier 3 tank, I am not too happy with that result. But of course it's still a good result. But as you can see, Bob has fired that many shots this game that he is left with his 6 HE shells. So he's going to have to take out the Panzer 3A. But luckily a Panzer 3A doesn't have a lot of armor of course. Is he in this corner maybe? He checked it. Oh there he is. He didn't check it last time. He penetrates his first HE shell. And this one should seal the deal. There we go. Well done to you Bob. That was your 10th kill in the Stuk 3. Something that I have never been able to achieve in uh, any tier higher than 3. Really happy to see this result for you mate. Stuck 3G is of course a really really good tank. So let's take a look at the post game stats mate. Great game for you he Bob. You got 1349 experience as well as 31,050 credits. You got the ace tanker of course for this game. You got the pools medal as well as a crap load of tokens. And a nadings medal for killing all the light tanks in that game. As well as the high caliber and the top gun medal. Bob finished top on damage by far on what the rest of his team was able to do as you can see 2808 damage done which is a crazy result for a tier 5 tank as you can see the 10 kills and that damage total giving him 1349 base experience although you fired that many shots this game you still netted a very good profit of 26 of 26,000 credits even though you're not running a premium account thanks for sending me this game Bob it was an absolute pleasure to watch as I said, the Stug 3G is a really powerful tank. Although this was a very good matchup for you, you still rocked it. I'm very thankful to you guys that you are sending in your replays. And if you guys want to do the same, send your email to tokrift10 at gmail.com. And please follow the conditions that are on your screen right now. I hope you like this video.
please leave a like as I did put a lot of time in making this video. And subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Bye.